the smart grid layout allows you to go from this a conventional contact form 7 form to this something which looks much more professional compact and is responsive on mobile screens in a recent project I had to create a form for a house rental business which required their customers to fill in a few details about some of the guests that were going to join them on their stay. Um, this required things like the name, a phone number, the, the names of the adult guests, whether there were going to be any senior guests in the party, the children and their ages, along with some uh, kitchen facilities and house facilities. And with the smart grid layouts, uh, I was able to actually transform this into a form that looks a lot more compact, which is responsive into a multi, multi column, multi row layout. So, in this quick tour, I'm going to quickly review uh, what are the functionalities that are um, exposed in the smart grid that allows you to build uh, flexible and powerful forms for your projects. Starting off with dynamic fields, these are drop down fields that are provided by the smart grid. Uh, and these fields are populated dynamically using either a category, uh, taxonomy in your back end, or even uh, a set of posts which uh, can be linked so that your users can actually view some of these items in a back end post. Now, in addition to making the form look a lot more professional uh, with small info tips below each field that are optional, form allows you to uh, create a complex grid layouts that are responsive and that will collapse when viewed in a mobile screen. If I select a mobile screen, you see here that all the fields are now collapse on top of each other the columns are now into a single displayed into a single column. One of the things is that you have the ability to have collapsible sections or rows. When a user decides that they want to actually fill in uh, a given section by toggling it open, the, the fields within the sections can be made to be required. Uh, if it's um, untoggled, even though there are fields that are required, these will not be submitted in the back end and they will not be validated by the plugin. So upon validation, upon selection of a toggle field, um, the user can now fill in the, the, the required fields. In addition to this, the smart grid allows you to build tables of fields. This is basically a row of multiple fields that can be uh, entered multiple times by the user. So if this customer had several guests, uh, they could actually add one row for each guest. Another useful construct that comes out of the box with the smart grid layouts um, is the ability to build uh, forms using multi-step slides. So here uh, the first slide contains the name and the phone and moving on to the next slide, uh, we have the, um, the guests and the, the, ch the children's name as, as two tables where uh, multiple rules can again be added. And moving on to the next slide where the facilities are captured and automatically the next uh, button converts to a submit button. Now all of this can be configured. Not only can you configure whether you want the submit button to be automatically uh, added on the last slide, or for example, if you had another section below where you would have some more fields to be filled in and then finally a submit button. These uh, previous and next buttons are by default arrows. These can also be configured and so on and so forth. And finally, this, uh, this last construct, which I actually used on projects, whereby uh, the business of house rental wanted the possibility for a customer to rent multiple houses and therefore they needed a form that was able to capture um, the various guests that were going to stay in each of the houses. 
uh, for example, whether someone was organizing a wedding ceremony or something like this. In this case, the tab construct allows you to uh, identify a section of your form that needs to be fitted into a tab construct and whereby your users can then add multiple tabs where each time they have to fill in the fields that are uh, repeated in each tab uh, and at the end submit the entire form uh, to the back end.